Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Star Rail. Last time, I think we a Kafka escaped from us, uh, and that tree broke up. I mean, it exploded somehow. So we're just gonna continue from there onwards to the story. Yeah, so that's what happened. Kafka escaped. Blade appeared. Stuff happened. We are potentially screwed because we have that big tree over there. You know, honestly, if you play FGO, if you play FGO, that tree reminds me of a lost belt tree. It's it's like the main thing that's happening in Fade right now. Uh, on that game, like the lost belt story with the trees and all. Tree of emptiness, something like that. So like that reminded me of, I don't know why. Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? <sighs> Amazing! Absolutely amazing! Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime! I'm so lucky! Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes. The Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. I remembering Ambrosial Arbor. Yesterday we had that new quest in Genshin, the new event. And Klee, like we had to say Gandharva will. Klee just said Grand Arbor will. And that was so cute and funny. So that, that Arbor actually reminded me of that. Klee is honestly very cute. Sadly, I won't be able to get her because I'm trying for Eula. Eula is much more rare. And on this game, I don't know who I'm going to go for after. Jing Liu. I mean, I might have to skip Fu Xuan. Although I don't want to because I like her a lot, but man, it just sucks. Unless Kafka deceive the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? Hm. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. Hm. Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traders have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Coming up with a plan again. 
Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mmm, as ever the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? Zero, one, zero is the, ah, the General smiling again. Definitely Aaron's. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the General. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? You... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing Outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such... I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Delve. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission, and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. This is no order, honored guests. I'm merely stating what needs to be done, should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. All right, we have Jing Yuan, Fu Xun here, chilling. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape Delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. It is an ancient artifact that was planted on the Sienjo Lafu by Yao Shi, the Eon of Abundance. It has the power to shape life and subdue death at will. The ancestors of the Lofu people consumed the fruits of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained endless lifespans, thus becoming long-life species. Ah, oh, sounds like an amazing treasure. Yes. It was also the bane of everything to come. As outsiders, you are unfamiliar with the history of the Sienjo. I cannot blame you for asking a question like this. Let me tell you a story. Long ago, before the Sienjo took to the skies, our ancestors lived on the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo people at that time were a mortal species with a lifespan of fewer than 100 years. 
There was a time when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence, or the thought of his life's achievements being lost to another after his death. He became fixated on acquiring an elixir of immortality, and focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. These ships would voyage into deep space, where traces of gods were rumored to exist. Did he... succeed? Yes. And no. He succeeded because, after an arduous journey, the nine ships eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. Yao Shou's appearance provided for all manner of unfathomable celestial blessings. However, he failed because the fleet has been lost ever since, and has never been able to return to its home planet. That doesn't sound so bad. The Sienjo people went on a great adventure and got what they wanted in the end. Right? Oh? Our ancestors once thought so too, but the miracle of longevity was nothing more than a vain dream. Take the La Fu, for example. Immortality seems like a beautiful thing. But what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. In the struggle for survival, the immortals lost their humanity and degenerated into mere beasts. After paying the price with blood and tears, the Lafu people finally understood that immortality was not a free blessing, but the beginning of a cruel ordeal. In the eras that followed, other beings that had likewise received Yao She's blessings repeatedly attacked the Xianzhou in an attempt to take the sacred artifact as their own. Countless atrocities were committed as a result. Many Xianzhou comrades who were lucky enough to survive the wars became stricken with Mara, a condition that immortals are susceptible to. Had it not been for the enlightenment and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter, the Xianzhou Alliance you see today would never have existed. At this point in the story, I assume you understand the disasters that the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor might bring about? Thousands of years have passed since the Rainbow Arbiter felled the Ambrosial Arbor. Most in the Xianzhou regard the Arbor as nothing more than the stump of a dead tree. Only those familiar with our history and the ancient texts know of its origin. Our ancestors placed the stump in full view of the people precisely to make it seem unimportant. But in fact, they sealed it behind layers upon layers of delve enchantment. Even if one travels toward the Ambrosial Arbor, one will never reach it. Someone brought a Stellaron into the Sienjo and planted it among the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor. They wish to resurrect it and achieve their hidden goal through external aggression. In my opinion, the force that provided the Stellaron and the force that activated it have different objectives. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Xianzhou is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron spears may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. 
The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. Okay, she is going on, but I want to talk to Ching Che. She's chilling over here. Ooh, that was scary. I was having a snack in the repository when the ambrosial arbor started to grow. The trunk suddenly shot right up into the sky. So, the legends were right all along. Such is life, full of surprises. That's why you gotta seize any opportunity to take a break. Who knows when trouble will come knocking at your door. It'll be fine. Even if the sky collapses, we have the Master Diviner with us to hold it up. Oh, and now we have the General here, too. What do subordinates like us have to panic about? Let the big shots worry about the big events. That's the secret to happiness. She did. She saw me on her way over. She told me to go to the repository and read up on anything related to the Ambrosial Arbor. A simple task like that is only 15 minutes work for me. I heard people say even the general has to watch his manners when asking you for help. Pretty impressive. I don't have much to offer you. Uh, here, take this book. It's the thought that counts. I was gonna wait for the Master Diviner to get off work so I could show you around and teach Mr. Yang how to play Celestial Jade. Your kindness is much appreciated, Miss Ching Chu. As for Celestial Jade, <laughs> we'll have to leave it for next time. I know, I know, you've got an important task ahead. Sorry to keep you, priorities are priorities. Well then, get back safely. Remember to come find me in Exalting Sanctum. Alright, okay. Ching Chu is chilling. She's lazy. So let's just go with Fu Xuan. Let's go back and see how to destroy this tree. Honestly, I have no idea. Isn't the ending part. I still have important that. tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. I love how well to just like said Dimash, like, come on, let's just go. We don't need to mess with her anymore. What's the delay? If you're worried about the road ahead, I've already told you. The hexagram indicates an auspicious result. Don't believe me? <laughs> Fine. Fate is fickle. Better to believe in yourself than look to the sky. I love her voice actor. She's like amazing. She's quantum preservation. I think that she, the, her drip marketing released yesterday. I think so. Yep, that, she's that. Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the La Fu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Star's gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. I think they call that complaining from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? 
The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. Okay, we have a lot of people over here. Get this new area unlocked. I have no idea. I mean, honestly, this this Shianzhou storyline felt a little off to me. Like, I don't know, I wasn't that invested in it as much as Bellabog uh, made me. Another locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sanjo as the Divination Commission. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet thousands of light years away. Yes, we do. Still, the Artisanship Commission is filled with security mechanisms. Even the General won't be able to save us in time if we get trapped. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Alright, my reasoning, I was cut off by the dialogue, my reasoning for not liking the Xian show right now is because it's, it feels like a two-parter. Master Gong Shu. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes? <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. You just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the General invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Xu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Is research data more important than life? I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, Please, bring him out safe and sound, if anything happens to him. Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical Honestly, disaster? 
It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? Uh, well, it was going to say it's our responsibility and then he was worried about his graduation, so... That, that's hilarious. Sometimes the personality is really good. The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. Alright, so this is the new area that we've unlocked the Artisan Commission. It's really... Like, the area design is pretty good. However, the story, like, I know, as I said, fell flat. Probably, probably because it's a two-parter, like... We don't get the conclusion of the entire arc in this one, so... Upon probably gotta wait for 1.3 or so. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead. Stay away. If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Uh, uh, hold Don't on. Let us explain. We're not... What excuses do you have? Surprise me. Just passing uh, by. I I stumbled you. in. Uh, Door uh, wide open. Within commission grounds today was sown. An evil sprung by hands unseen, unknown. No longer. If the security mechanisms didn't teach you a lesson. Golden Cloud Toad. Illumination Dragonfish. Are you all right? Wake up. I raise you like my own flesh and blood. <laughs> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation! You didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Uh, how do you know my name, child? Does the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? This guy is pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gongshu. R really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession, the Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away. Knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on. <laughs> Through here! Okay, this dude is crazy. Like, totally crazy. Yeah. Although he gives Stella Jades after you complete this entire arc, so... That's good. That's the only good thing that he does. Look, this is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The Shifting Screen. <laughs> good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The shifting screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed. With limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? 
even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither, but... Through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled vents and coiled. How observant. You would make an excellent student. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree. Who think thyself so strong? Your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? Yeah. Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the tree demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! I also feel there was too much dialogue in these type in these quests. Like compared to Bellabog, Bellabog had a good amount of gameplay and dialogue, but Gianjo, it's mostly dialogue. I mean, you don't fight a lot over here. It is kind of funny, like I was thinking, even Genshin, some quest, you're mostly listening to stuff, you aren't fighting. It is pretty funny, considering they're action, adventure, fighting type games. You should be fighting, right? <laughs> Okay, these puzzles were actually good. It was stimulating. Yeah, like see you gotta beat them all on the single time. I hadn't actually noticed this one was here, so that's why I thought that was the only one. Now good. And we've unlocked our teleport screen. Very good. The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. You're much better than my useless students. What's happening? Is the delve collapsing? Seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain! <laughs> All right, there's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back! All right, let's go. We've already been introduced to this type of mechanism when we were fixing the Matrix of Prescience. I don't know why we had an entire quest just to tell us where it was. I think it was mostly for introducing us to that puzzle. Alright, let's see what this flower is hiding. Oh, look! The Ambrosial Arbor's roots! Oh, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention! The Creation Furnace! Help me, dear young friends! Let's hack them away together! We can't let the roots punch through the furnace! Careful, it's changing. Boss, Whoa. I think. What kind of You already know there's gonna be a weekly boss. Miraculous! It creates life at will! Such incredible power! 
Tingyun is like obsessed with this. I don't know why. Okay, abundant heaven. I'm glad I had Zeal and asked him about it because of the weakness. Like a weakness advantage. And like with its design, you already know this is going to be like a weekly boss. Who will it be? Although strangely enough, it wasn't a weekly boss in the like when the game was released. So I'm assuming that. Come more story for the Jianzhou. We're gonna get this as a weekly boss. Its design is just to have it as a one-time only. I really love the fighter and its mechanisms. Let's go. It's also amazing. Like it has that consistent feel thing, which could add, like which could test you. It just makes for a really good weekly boss. That's what I'm thinking. Rosal Arbor's roots and the furnace. Rules are made to be broken. I think it'd be the for imaginary or something. What a headache! Like for future characters, Jingyu probably. That's what I'm betting on. I'm mean, until when we have only two weekly bosses. That's just absurd. No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. The Sienjo is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Tingyun, are the longwave species on the Sienjo all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there. We can't get any closer. I wonder. The Evan Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Uh, yeah, it can't heal if we take out the source, right? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. All right, so that was it for now. Next part, when we come back, we will find the source. We're gonna beat that deal. You know it. And yeah, we're reaching the end. Probably by the time I finish these videos, the next part of the story will come out. So let's just see about that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Yada yada. Have a great day. Bye.